Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 Holy Fury and the start of my second recording session. Thank you for all of the lovely likes and comments that have come in thus far. A few useful notifications though, it's a few things that I did miss when I was playing. Such as by lover here, I could have actually taken as a concubine. Would have been much more straightforward. <laughs> Nevertheless, because she is a lover now, she will actually uh, have an increased chance to fall pregnant. Uh, that's something I could have done which would have been much easier than attempting to seduce her. Nevertheless, uh, that's now that's now done. Um, also, uh, so that's thank you to Adam Person for that one. And also, the Great Husser tells me I've been butchering these Polish names. My apologies for that. So apparently my surname should actually be pronounced Mazowiecki instead of uh, the W actually doesn't exist in Polish. That's always a V. Uh, but for some reason in English, it's a W. And this, uh, instead of Mazovia, it should be more like Mazo Shai or, or something like that. I've got it written down here. Mazov Shai or something like that. It won't matter for too long because we're going to aim for Poland soon. I want to get the Polish kingdom uh, so we can start to, you know, really bring people together underneath the Polish throne. Towards that end, though, I, someone has also pointed out that. The achievement not only requires all of these Russian kingdoms, that is required, but we also require three out of four of the kingdom, or sorry, two out of four of the Wendish Empire kingdoms. Poland and Bohemia are both required. Uh, this tiny, great uh, Moravia kingdom is not required, but uh, Pomerania, if we do have it, will just be brought in as a bonus, but it's not required. But at the very least, we do need Bohemia, so part of me thinks, you know, it's not the worst idea just to grab everything in this area and then head eastwards. But we shall see. Start of some of these areas are already starting to convert to Catholicism. But fortunately, the, uh, the Great Holy Wars are not yet unlocked. So we can actually start even pushing some of these uh, Dugal claims as well. Yeah, we could create the Kingdom of Poland and the Duchy of Red Ruthrania. Um, main thing, we need money. We just need a lot of money to to afford these kingdom titles because we don't have much. So we need to start looting in a, in a great way. This uh, this place here looks ripe for the pickings. So we'll get started on that immediately, I think. Let's just merge these troops. Probably need all my levies, actually. Let's just get all of them up. You can all be looters today. There we are. Let's unpause and let's continue. We need a good. That yeah, should be plenty of troops. We need a good. Uh, I think 200 gold or close to it to create the Kingdom of Poland. 183. My lover is pregnant again. What joyous news! And she tells me that she's pregnant, but that can't be right, can it? <laughs> which is it? <laughs> which, is, which is it, Jolanta? <laughs> Tell me. Is, was it me or was it me? So we have finished these stone watchtowers, which is now fully upgraded. I don't know if they turn into castle fortifications too or not. It just says castle fortifications, which does give me a bit of concern. And once again, we are trying to save money, so we will resist purchasing additional hill forts. Notice the hill fort and the market village uh, both increase their retinue size. Quite an interesting to note. The steward has perished, and everyone else is really bad at stewardship, so this guy will be a steward instead. And he could try to settle this tribe, because I'd like to get uh, this county here converted to the superior Polish way. So we've got many prisoners. This is good. And now it's on to burning this, uh, this here uh, Rumava temple. I'm enjoying the new music. Well, we strive to better ourselves than each other at the Champions of Perun. One way is the occasional sparring match for practice and honor. Seek and duel the fledgling Dermid. You will find him in Turapets. So you, I believe you're the man who tried to ask us for help before. You're the whiner. <laughs> we shall duel you because you have zero and we have minus four. Um, I'd rather not duel while I have the great pox, I'm afraid. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll accept the challenge and we'll duel we'll do it later. How's that? I can rank up in the society, however. Let's do that. Upgrade ourselves to veteran. We've got 25 gold from that temple. That was a good good haul. Okay. Um, important decisions. We could hold a great tribal festival. 
Is that going to cost money? It is going to cost money. I'll leave that for now then. Um, we could... And I think the Jarlo Festival also costs money. Yeah, both of them cost money. Still, this is this is uh, this looting is going well. Just going to get the rest of the money out of here. Up to 147. You would like to go... Go party. Yeah, let's party. Okay. Dear Honored Warrior, go Simir. I hereby grant you permission to advance to the next rank within the Champions of Peru. It is my privilege. So let us see what we can do now as a veteran. We can inspire warriors to instantly refill a garrison that we've, uh, that's been empty. Useful. Plus two martial and plus two... Plus 10 personal combat skills, not bad either, and the monthly prestige will help to continue to uh, help us get more, vet, more uh, retinue. And the War Sacrifice allows us to sacrifice wealth and blood to the Divine Patrons of Lodge in exchange for prowess in battle. What's that look like? War Sacrifice. It costs renown to use, and we receive a favour from the gods, apparently. Any more wealthy countries around? Let's use this rarely used mode, the econo economic map mode. Look at these castles. These seem like tempting targets. Yoink. Because you're now next to me, I can now happily loot you. You are Slavic, though. So let's try not to loot the... Uh... I suppose it's not too relevant. We'll just take the money and run. Ploik prospers. This is good. And have a second son, which does cause problems with this... Uh... The titles. But we'll see what we can do. Uh, this name. I believe... No, I've been taught one of the tricks by Great Hussar. Let's, uh... Let's quickly check my, my notes here. So, the... The SZ here is actually pronounced like a SH. There we go. So, this is actually... And the V is pronounced as a... Uh, the W is pronounced as a V. So, it's actually... Uh, Jenny... Vosh. Jenny Vosh. That's his name. Welcome to the family. We have more heirs, which does cause a problem with this uh, title loss and succession. So we're going to have to work on that. I've arrived at the private rooms of Chief uh, Tadvar Domir. There is plenty of food and drink here, and the mood is decidedly merry. I am looking forward to this. Let's get it started. Uh, he has brought out a, the board of pieces and suggests that we play a few rounds to determine who is the better strategist. He insists that we play for money. Very well, let's play. Uh, we play for hours in the tides of fortune ebbing and flowing as I try to attack my opponent's positions without opening my defence too much. Eventually, however, I made a fatal mistake that my opponent exploited and I lost the game. I'll get you next time. I don't actually lose any money, which is nice. Uh, time to go back to real life. 20 prestige. Nice. Speaking of prestige, can I get some more retinues? Um, I have actually reached my maximum cap. We'll have to wait to upgrade a building before we can do that. Um, but that's okay. Just sieging down pluck here. So got another 17 gold. Let's now, we can now actually probably create the kingdom of Poland in my opinion. Can we do this thing? Poland. We can create the kingdom of Poland. Give us 400 prestige. And uh, cost me some party as well. We have plenty of party. Let's be the king of Poland. We've created the title kingdom of Poland. And this should actually fulfill this ambition. But let's be careful about it. Can we declare war? Oh, we have to dismiss our army levies. Let's just dismiss them in foreign lands anyway. Because it's just what we have to do. Can we declare war quickly? And subjugate you before my ambition expires. Yes. Subjugate you. I could do it by retinues anyway. Even though that was a little bit rough, we had to do this. Oh, look at this new new ambition here. Oh, look at this. We have to mark that as important. Form the Slavic Union. Ancestral legends tell of a time when the three brothers, Lech, Czech, and Rus, went on their way to find fertile lands for their people. Today, countless generations later, all the children of this same ancestral blood are united under my rule. So it's only fit that we rid ourselves of our old and petty borders and formally establish one land in which all Slavs will be white sisters and brothers. So we need 5,000 prestige to be at peace and we just completely control all of these kingdoms. That sounds good to me. That is our objective. It's good to know we have this objective. We don't need to be sieging this dude anymore. We have his money. It's good to know we can come back here, though, if we so choose. 
He's probably not going to be very pleased about it, though. Yeah, he's, he's slightly, slightly upset. That's to be expected. Let us now set our rally points over here. That'll do. And call in everyone. So you know, <laughs> I declared this war just before the King of Poland thing kicked in. So I'm now the King of Poland. So what will I lose on succession? I will lose two duchies. And I'll lose the, this uh, chiefdom here. So I'll need to sort that out once that's all done. Oh, the Viking Gods kicks in. Everyone likes uh, Dogomir, so let's pick Dogomir. That's fine. All the electors, they prefer him. Seems reasonable. I would still like to go for Absolute Cognatic at some point. We can go for Low Tribal Organization. Um... Or centralization. An abs um, agnatic cognatic would not be a bad idea either, but we got the 10 years problem there. Um, I'm sort of t scared to see what this empowered council does though. It might actually just immediately empower them. Let's leave it off for now. Let's just keep going. We're losing money of all these troops raised though, so let's keep it quick. I have a new heir. People have all voted for the other boy, have they? Let's see what's happened. It's like evenly split. <laughs> why Why didn't you like him? He's not supporting my candidate. Is that the, is that the only reason? I do not trust the judgment of a, of a ruler I dislike. <laughs> so if I pick this one, we'll see what happens. Alright, let's get in here and start sieging some stuff, shall we? Hey, yeah, they're all picking the other one. <laughs> we do have to start doing something about these vassals. Let's just mar march up here and smash this dude. There's river crossings in every direction, apart from that one, so we'll do that. We should pick an ambition, however. Um, let's groom in here. We can uh, right-click this heir eventually to, uh, once he's uh, of age, and do special things. We could start working on our other stats. War is pretty much doing fine at the moment. Um, I think for the moment we'll switch to business focus. We're still taking a river crossing penalty. Never mind. We have a prisoner, the Ure Drog. Well, uh, you'll make a suitable sacrifice. Well, uh, let's uh, get our core physician to deal with this bad case of the flu. He's bedridden. Oof. I'm at a budget deficit as well, which isn't the best news. to do some more raiding. And I can get some more veteran warriors while we're at it because they only cost prestige. 90%. This shouldn't take too long. One more tick. That'll do it. That's off a piece. And welcome to the kingdom. So next target will have to be this this messy area here has gone feudal but if you look at the de jure kingdoms we do need bohemia um, ultimately pomerania wouldn't be a bad pickup if we need it but and we'd want this one county and we've got one county of theirs and they've got one county of ours we want this off hungary but hungary has lots of troops so we're kind of not the, the event troops are slowly whittling down <laughs> that's our only solace here all right Let's dispose of my levies for now, because they are costing me money, so. And then think about how we're going to advance. Who wants to increase our military? Yes, we shall increase our military. We have many prisoners, many prisoners. Let's uh, see what we can do about them. Head over to the Intrigue menu, Mass Ransom. 98 gold will do well. Let's keep going.
starting to make some make some money from all these prisoners. The Karajite faith is triumphant. The adherents of the Abadi faith have slowly dwindled to the point when the Kajarite believers are in the majority. This new state of affairs has reduced their faith to a de facto heresy. The bickering of fools does not concern me. So, let's think of immediate plans. We have now captured... We have the, we are the king of Poland. Starting to become more and more powerful. This is good. We do have concerns with this succession issue. My, first off, my kid's incapable. Um, I don't particularly mind which one is elected, though, so it's not the worst thing, but... Um, let's get an earth hill fort, that's for sure. After that, I think it's going to be important to start consolidating underneath here, because there's a lot of individual counties here, for example. Uh, I should pick a vassal that I like. This guy doesn't particularly like me, but he has lost all of his, uh... Lost all of his, um... You know, you conquered me. Annoyingness going on. This guy is my friend. So it would, it would behove me to give him the duchy here instead. Of, uh, this one here. Yeah, we can give that to him. So let's give you this duchy. Excellent. So just go back to that view. So I've got mainly just duchies at the moment, which is fine. I would like to complete this duchy the red Lithuania one and give it to this guy because he's been really good to me this guy mainly just has anything all, all of this anyway he's 5 out of 5 and he hates me really hates me um, this guy here still hates me mainly because he just it's upset he got defeated um, and I control his duchy so I could give his duchy back to him and I don't see why not, so... Let's grant him these uh, Greater Poland, I believe. Actually, I think I've got both of their duchies, and I don't need them, so... I'm happy with the one duchy, the capital duchy here. Um, so I'll give him Greater Poland. He's, uh, he's, he's okay with it now. And you want lesser Poland, don't you? There we are. So the only thing I probably have to worry about now is just making sure that the uh, there's no ridiculous vassal problems. But now the only title loss on succession is this chieftain here. So this chief dom, rather, not the worst thing in the world. Cool, I'm I'm content now. This gabble kind nonsense. We keep switching between the two. People kind of made up their mind. Your devotion as a devout follower of Perun has spread across the lands. Many great and seasoned warriors have since travelled to Plock to pledge allegiance to your cause. Glory to the Thunder God! Yes, I believe in zappy things. And this gives me more levies. And he wants to do another... He wants to do another party. He has a Game Master trait, so I'm probably going to lose it. Okay. My lover is pregnant! My concubine? How is that happening? <laughs> Don't you realise she's wearing two hats? <laughs> it's fine, I trust her word, like, honestly. It is, it is fine. Speaking of, let us put both of these boys onto pride. Okay, and think about conquest. So what's happening to you lot? You're defending against conquests, conquests, conquests. And that's because you've gone Catholic. Okay, but that does mean we can declare war on you ourselves and start taking individual counties towards our goal of claiming Bohemia. Which is that one what we want. So let's do that. It's going to make us have some hostility, I guess, but we want this one. So take that. Okay, seems good. These prisoners, who did they belong to? Conquered chieftains. 
you're just a woman, we could just uh, recruit you. But you're possessed and you seem pretty sus, so we'll just, we'll just let you go. Release. Uh, you. You'll seem okay, actually. We'll recruit you. No, you don't like me enough, do you? We'll just let you go. Ransom. Doesn't care. Release. And you are a wife of this man. And you don't care to ransom? <laughs> wow. Doesn't care. Well, uh, we'll release you. That's okay. Let us now go forth and seize this county. Though we already currently have 27% win on it. <laughs> We're doing this party. Seems good. And then we're going to play. And I lost the game again. Back to real life. It was fun. We have lots of prestige, actually. We could have we could upgrade plenty of things. Um He will go for a a weaponsmith, seems good. And here doesn't actually belong to me. This will go for Hustle Training Ground. And this will go for a weaponsmith. Gotta use our resources after all. Let's merge and hit him there. Just siege that. Marshals can start a massive recruitment drive. This is good. Uh, we need to take some land off this guy. What shields him? He's here. Okay. Let's go get him. Uh, I have encountered Fledgneg, uh, <laughs> well, it's Shiche, I think it is, many times while carrying my duties out for the Champions Prune. As always, a pleasant occasion. We could talk for hours, and if time allows, because he never bores me. While our discussions are often lengthy, we always seem to agree on the matters which are most important. I think this is friendship. We could be friends. We're both Cyclopses. Alright, well, we're going this. I'm not sure what we... Maybe one of our vassals is already doing this. Let's just smash this group, shall we? I have a daughter named uh, Lucia. Hello, Lucia. Welcome to the family. Let's try to chase this lot down. So this, this rebellion has ended. And here he controls Bohemia. Is he king? No, he's just a duke. Nevertheless, we do need to start seizing his stuff. And he is Slavic. And we have a, a sacrifice. And another sacrifice. So many sacrifices. Does this mean my Mark Personal Combat skill is decent? It is decent. Let us do this duel, shall we? Not plot to kill duel. Oh, we're involved in a war. Fair enough. Well, we'll just put up with it then. Sieging down random tribes. We finished the wooden hill fort. So in that case, let us start working on a an upgraded Hussa training ground. That seems good. Uh, this guy's gonna move down here. Peasant revolt over here. What was the rebellion risk? 10%? Oh, someone had done peasant unrest. Fair enough. Well, we can just move this slot down up here. This is basically done anyway. We have captured this bishop. He should actually make money, so we'll just we'll just capture him. We'll capture this. This uh Hudrek here. Another County added to my inventory. Seems good. It's not a bad one. Although it is, it is Catholic. And Bohemian. Yes. Opted to start dealing with these culture problems. We'll deal with this rebellion and then call it a video, I believe. Seems good. <laughs> Immediately walked off. <laughs> Alright, let's just uh, merge these two, shall we? There we are. Hulk smash. 
seems good. Well, thank you all for watching. We've created Poland and expanded Poland already in this video. I'll see you next time right here at Conflux Games.